Okay, hello everyone in a new video. In this one we are going to solve an exercise related to electricity in the chapters of DC voltage resistors, electric power and energy. This exercise was a previous one in the previous exams in 2017 second session, exercise number 4. The title of this exercise is protection of a lamp. Consider the following electric devices, a lamp L acting as a resistor ohmic conductor and bearing the inscription 6 volt 9 watts. Then the lamp L which is considered as a resistor, carries the following indication, 6 volts and 9 watts. So this, this can be considered as a resistor, which means that we can apply Ohm's law to the lamp L. A generator G maintaining across its terminals a DC voltage uh, of constant voltage UG. So we have the generator UG. Now take UG is equal to 21 volts in all the exercise. Now number one, if L is connected directly to the terminals of G, it may burn out justify. So in other words, we are talking about the functioning uh, of the lamp and this can be determined by comparing the, the applied voltage to the rated voltage. So in this case, the applied voltage, which is given by UG is equal to 21 volts, which is greater than the rated voltage. Then in this case, the lamp, it may burn out. Uh, here, it may burn out or function strongly, but because they are telling me it may burn out, then we will say, since the applied voltage is greater Then the rated voltage of the lamp L, this is 21 volts greater than 9, than 6 volts, then the lamp L burns out. Now, in number two, in order to let L functions normally, it's connected with an ohmic conductor R of resistance R in series with a G. 2.1, draw the diagram of the circuit. Then the circuit consists of the lamp L, the generator, and the resistor of, resist of resistance R. So this is the generator G, which is a DC voltage. This is the lamp L. And this is the resistor R. And here, notice that because they told me number two in order to let L functions normally. And now because the lamp L is functioning normally, so it has an applied voltage, which is equal to the rated voltage of the lamp L. And this is given by 6 volt. And the voltage of the battery is given by 21 volts. So this is the circuit. Now in 2.2, they are telling me show that the voltage across the terminals of R is UR is equal to 15 volts. And this can be done using the law of addition of voltages because we know the voltage of the generator and we know the voltage of the lamp. Therefore, we can determine the voltage across the, the resistor. Always in physics, we need to mention the law that we are using. Apply law of addition of voltages. Then how do we apply this law? Always on the left we write the voltage of the battery which is given by UG in this case. And on the other side we write the voltages across different electric components and they are given by UL plus UR. We are interested in calculating the value of UR. UG is equal to 21. The value of UL is equal to 6 because it's functioning normally. So the type of this equation is linear equation and one unknown which is given by UR. So UR is equal to 21 minus 6, which is equal to 15. 21 and 6 are in volts, so the value of UR will be in volts. So UR is equal to 15 in volts. Then now we know that the applied voltage across the resistor is given by 15 volts, and this allows the lamp L to function normally. Now in 2.3, they are telling me calculate the electric current I in the circuit. Let me make some space. So 
So one of the methods to calculate the electric current I traversing this circuit, knowing that all three electric components are in series, so they are traversed by the same current, is by applying Ohm's law to the resistor R, because we know its voltage. However, we don't know its resistance R. Therefore, we cannot use this method. Then another way to calculate the electric current I traversing the circuit is from the lamp L. Because we know that the applied voltage is given by 6 volt and the consumed power in this case is given by 9 watts because the lamp L is functioning normally. Then let's say that P is equal to U times I and we are interested in calculating the value of I across the lamp L. Constructing the triangle of this formula, P at the top, U and I at the bottom, here because we have multiply. We are interested in calculating the value of I which is given by P divided by the applied voltage across the lamp which is given by UL. Now the power is given by 9 and the applied voltage is given by 6 across the lamp. Plugging this on the calculator will give us 1.5. Since P is in the SI and the value of UL is in the SI, so the value of I will be in the SI which is uh, amperes. Then I is equal to 1.5 amperes. And the trick in solving such type of exercises is to write the traverse current and the applied voltage on the electric circuit itself. Now finally in 2.4 they are telling me deduce R and the word deduce means that we need to depart just previously before. In 2.3 we have determined the value of I and we already know the value of the applied voltage across R. Therefore by applying Ohm's law to R apply Ohm's law to R we can determine the value of R which allows L to function normally Ohm's law is given by U is equal to R multiplied by I we are interested in calculating the value of R constructing the triangle of this formula U at the top R and I at the bottom then R is given by U divided by I the applied voltage is, is labeled by UR from part 2.2 then 15 divided by 1.5 will give us 10 since u is in the SI and the value of i will be is in the SI so the value of r will be in the SI which is ohms so r is equal to 10 ohms and by this we have finished solving this exercise hope it was beneficial for you guys out there watching it and see you soon in another one